gets your heart racing. Speed is what gets your adrenaline going. Speed is what every automotive enthusiast desires. And Speed was also the name of a movie starring Keanu Reeves. But today we have the Triumph Speed 400, the most affordable Triumph that you can buy in India right now. And it is being built right here at Bajaj's Chakan facility. But is this really a Triumph or just a Bajaj with a Triumph skin? Well, we will ride it briefly on the track and a lot on the road outside to tell you exactly if this is worth your money and if this really is a Triumph motorcycle at heart. My name is Akash Paul, you are watching TOI Auto and let us begin this review now. Let's take a look at the design, but not in the conventional sense. Yes, it's a good looking motorcycle. It looks like a Triumph. If you've seen the bigger speed, then it definitely looks like that. It has that candy styled uh, fuel tank at the front and an LED headlamp, but come closer. Let me show you the details. You can see the quality of paint here. You can see the quality of all the panels, the detailing in them. There are no rough edges, no ugly weld marks, which are very apparent, even the exhaust where it originates you can see it's very clean and this part where you have the weldings triumph has smartly covered it with this piece and then you have this nice looking can which sounds really good even at the back you have a very clean looking design these sleek led turn indicators do the job and they complement the overall design of the bike even the engine casing you can see that this definitely reeks of quality it is a quality product and it is definitely a triumph at heart if i had to nitpick then i would say that these levers for the brake and the clutch are the only things that slightly out of place considering the rest of the build of this motorcycle uh, but otherwise they're still not bad looking it's just that the rest of the motorcycle has such high quality levels that these do feel a little normal compared to the rest of the bike now this is your semi-digital instrument cluster you have a conventional dial right here to show you your speed and there is a digital display over here which looks pretty good you can see your uh, gear position you have a tachometer you have your fuel level an odometer it shows you the time and using a button on the handlebar you can switch between the two trip meters it also shows you your fuel efficiency the range that you have and this is the menu where you can switch on or switch off the traction control by pressing and holding the button for a few seconds and then releasing it so now you will see it is turned off so these are all the readouts that you get and it's very nice and legible i do like how all the information is presented So this is how you sit on the Speed 400 and you can see it's a very neutral riding position. The handlebars are well within reach for me and they are the right amount of width as well. Now this means you would usually sit upright and that is great for long rides but when you want to grab some speed you can easily put yourself further back on the seat which is very comfortable and has enough room for two people and then just tuck in and again like I said rocket through the air and reach very high speeds now one small thing that i did notice is that with these riding boots i did feel that there was maybe a little less space over at the back because uh, especially on the other side when you're shifting gears your foot might hit the rear foot peg a lot but it's not a very big hassle because normally in the city you would have your foot squarely on the peg and then it's not a big hassle now i am six feet tall and the seat height on this is 790 mm which means i can easily plant both of my feet on the ground if you are shorter maybe 5 8 5 10 you will still find this very accessible which is a great thing and despite this seat height you get plenty of ground clearance about 158 mm so going over potholes and bad roads is not going to be a problem on this motorcycle So now I've ridden the Speed 400 out on the road, in the rain, and even rode it a little bit on the test track. So, what are my thoughts on the engine character and how this bike is to ride? Well, the short answer is it's effortless, it's fun, and it is absolutely charming. The long answer is, well, first of all, this engine that you see here, it's a single cylinder 400cc unit, which comes with liquid cooling, which is pretty good. And the power and torque outputs are about 39 horsepower and 37 Newton meters. 
Now, if you look at the spec sheets, the engine numbers might look very similar to the Dominar 400. Uh, and that is because while this is an all new engine according to Triumph, what Triumph has done is that they've taken inputs from Bajaj and they've basically, whatever works, they've readapted it into this new engine. The result is an engine which has a lot of low end grunt and right from about 3000 RPM, you have plenty of torque. What this results in is that when you are in city or out on highway, you can keep the revs very low and still get ample amount of power to keep you going. Now, when you pull on the accelerator, you will notice the vibrations do kick in uh, after about 5000 RPM is when you start noticing the vibrations and above 6000, they become very apparent. So that is something that maybe Triumph can tweak and make it a little smoother, but normal day-to-day -day riding will not be a problem on this. It will be absolutely smooth. And because this has so much power, it can go from zero to 100 in a claimed seven seconds and out on the road, it did actually feel like that. Even the top speed figure, which Triumph told us was 145 kilometers an hour, that is the claimed figure. While I was on the track, I saw an Odo indicated almost 168 kilometers an hour, which is pretty, pretty fast for something which is not essentially fared. So basically, if you are out on a highway journey, then this 400cc engine is more than enough to give you plenty of power and to give you plenty of fun as well. Now, the rest of the bike, well, that has been put together very nicely as well. These 43mm forks up front and the 10-step adjustable monoshock at the back, both of them have a very nice response when you're out on the road. Yes, they're not the most comfortable or the most supple suspension, but it is not uncomfortable by any margin. And when you want to push the bike, well, they lend enough confidence. They do not wallow under pressure under hard braking too much. So that gives you a lot of confidence. Another thing that gives you massive amount of confidence while riding on smooth tarmac are these MRF tires. If you go and buy the Triumph Speed 400, you can either get MRF rubber or Apollo rubber, depending on whatever is available. Uh, the bike that we are riding right now has the MRF tires. And the company said that both the tires are similar in performance and they really do lend you a lot of grip, especially the 150 section tire at the back. That helps a lot when you're taking corners. It gives you a lot of confidence to shift your weight, stick your leg out a little, stick your butt out a little and take those corners in a very spirited manner. Of course, you'll have to do that on a racetrack or in a safe environment, but normal day-to-day -day riding is also really good. We've been riding through the hilly sections of Pune and this bike has been very easy to control. It doesn't feel top heavy. There's enough motion in the steering wheel to not lock itself up too soon. So it feels very agile. It feels very effortless. The torque assisted clutch has slip and assist function, which means that you barely notice the gear shifts or the clutch lever pull. So even if you're stuck in traffic, you won't mind being on this bike because the clutch action is so light. The six-speed gearbox also shifts very nicely. And the best thing about this bike while riding it is that it feels as if it offers little to no resistance. It's like you want it to do something and it just complies. You don't feel like the bike is fighting back too much. The brakes, they do fight back in a good way. The front brake really does come in handy and I've been basically using that all day long. And when I need, they have good initial progression. And when I really want to come to a halt, maybe I'm too fast, then the bite is there when you press the lever a little more. And it does bring the bike to a halt in a very stable and consistent manner. The rear brake lacks a little bit of power compared to the front brake, but it's still plenty. Now let's listen to the exhaust note of the Speed 400 and you tell me what you think of it. It definitely has that thump when you are idling and when you're in the lower revs and when you do give it the beans, then it does start to have a more growly nature. So let's get back to the question that we thought about at the start of this video and that is if this bike really is a Triumph at heart and I can without a doubt tell you that yes, this is a true 
red blooded triumph right here and it is absolutely fun to ride it's easy to sit on it's easy to take long commutes on the engine is so fun to play with plus the fit and finish quality like i mentioned earlier is absolutely great and what triumph has done with bajaj is that they've nailed the price so this one at an introductory price of 2.23 lakh ex showroom is an absolute steal this price is only valid for the first 10000 customers but even if you miss out on that you will just have to pay 10000 rupees extra 2.33 lakh and it can be yours triumph says that this bike will be available in showrooms by the second half of july which means that you can book it now for about 2000 rupees and then soon get your hands on a new affordable and still very fun triumph the only thing that you might want to wait for is the scrambler which should come around october it has the same specs the same engine the same chassis but it will have the added advantage of having tires which will cope better with rough terrains like these longer travel suspension so those might be really good for some of our cities which might be cities but they're basically urban jungle so maybe you might need that so that was all for today and that was the triumph speed 400 like i said thoroughly impressed if you were impressed by our video make sure to hit that like button comment down below if you have any questions regarding this bike or if you want to give any feedback to us subscribe to our channel if you have not done that yet and if you have subscribed make sure that you have pressed the bell icon so that you can get our notifications on time until next time bye bye